What's up guys? Today we're going to do a review on the Sydnix 46cc four stroke chainsaw. Now I had this saw almost about month over months after that yard sale from a yard sale find, state moving sale. And uh they change out their they change out the pull rope into this thing right here. And to fix it, which is, it was actually me who fixed the rope. Sorry, but, uh, they said the rope, the hand, the original handle on this thing broke. So I decided to went ahead and fix it and, and did fill it up with straight gas and prime the carburetor and check the engine oil. But it's been a while since the oil has been checked. I'll check it out after when we do a cold start on it. So anyway, but this is going to be a cold start. Check the oil. Oil still good. Choke is on. Switch on. Now half choke. Now this thing's pretty quiet compared to the four stroke, compared to the two stroke chainsaws. <clears throat> well, there he is, the Cynix four-stroke chainsaw, and as you can see, the bar is definitely worn. That's a Poulon Pro 18-inch I put onto this saw. I love 18-inch bars on the four-stroke chainsaw. And I did get the chain sharpened real good. And I hadn't used it to cut firewood yet, but maybe someday I will. Maybe someday. And, uh, anyway, let's talk about the features of it. I already did start it, but I don't want to start it again. It's got a recoil assembly pull rope. Just like on gas powered saws. On switch goes back to on automatically. It 
There's the carburetor. And that's the low and high and idle speed. Right here is the choke. Primer bulb. Top fuel. Motor oil. And bar and chain oil. Fallon spikes. Chain brake. Side tensioner bolts. This did not came with this tool, but th this one did with this tool. But I, I used it on my 455 wrencher because this tool is a lot better than the tiniest tool that 455 wrencher had. The chain looks fairly sharp. I did sharpen the chain on it. I'm only using this tool for for the big red in the XL12. Because this end right here fits onto the bolts, which I'll show you that. Which I'll go ahead and show you that right now. See, it is a perfect fit. It does fit onto them. It surely fits. But this don't even have a place for for the tool to be hanging hanging on in. But it it surely does fit on the big red and the. XL12, it'll fit on, it'll only fit onto these saws. This gasket is about to peel off. But it's still hanging onto the cap, but I'm leaving it as original cap. 20 inch. 20 inch chain for a bigger saw. I love 20 inch bars on these saws. And I love 22 inches on this, this chainsaw. But it'll take me a while to make me a, a 22 inch USA built chain for this bar. And uh, if I do that correctly, get it done, I'll put that fan back on to this, to this chainsaw and put the 18 inch bar up and use it as a detachment for, for the Husqvarna 450. And uh, Cynix is a very good small saw, but it's a 46cc saw, four cycle engine. And it hasn't been used a whole much. This bar hasn't. So I'll definitely, definitely use this fan again. Probably this year, before next year, in January. Got about two months left until the end of 2023. And uh, it'll be a good year for me next year in 2024. So, anyways, there's the review on the Cynix 4-stroke, four 4-cycle, four chainsaw alrighty thanks for watching